Is There a Way? Project Storm Fury, a joint effort of NOAA, the Navy, and the Air Force, is designed to try to find one. As the beginning of the hurricane season approaches, Project Storm Fury assembles a team of highly trained scientists and technicians to fly into mature hurricanes in an attempt to reduce the winds by seeding the clouds near the center of the storm with silver iodide crystals. Each year, from June through October, these great storms develop in the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, and the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Their paths are erratic, following no set pattern, answerable only to the enormous natural forces of the atmosphere and the oceans. Boundaries for these seeding operations have been established primarily to ensure that no seeded storm will touch a populated area until a prescribed period after seeding. When a fully developed hurricane approaches one of the approved seeding areas, the plane crews are briefed, the seeding planes are loaded, and together with the observation planes and their heavy cargo of special instruments, set out to meet the storm. Seen from directly above, the center of the hurricane is called the eye. The dense ring of clouds around the center is the eye wall. This and the other clouds immediately surrounding the eye wall form the energy center of the storm where large masses of warm, moisture-laden air rise from near sea level to great heights. Water vapor condenses in vast quantities, releasing enormous amounts of heat which helps to drive the storm. Some of the condensed droplets are carried aloft where temperatures are below freezing, but continue to exist as supercooled droplets. The seeding planes fly across the eye and into these clouds, seeding the supercooled water droplets from the belt of maximum winds outwards. The seeding cartridges burn out as they fall to produce curtains of silver iodide crystals. The silver iodide acts to transform the supercooled water droplets into ice crystals, upsetting the delicate heat balance of the storm and leveling off the sharp pressure differences in the heart of the hurricane, which produce the strongest winds in the storm. Flying a series of intricate patterns into the seeded clouds, the monitoring planes measure any changes in wind velocities and pressure caused by the seeding. In a related experiment, similar seeding of the outer rain bands of the hurricane is studied for its effect on the storm. Through these experiments, Project Storm Fury hopes to improve our understanding of the structure and the driving forces of hurricanes and tropical storms. This increased knowledge can lead us toward the goals of better prediction of hurricane behavior and of reducing the maximum winds in the hurricane sufficiently to cause significant lessening of the destructive effect of the greatest storm on Earth.